Hello everyone, I'm Angel and welcome back to my channel. You've seen it on the title. In this video, I will be doing our nursery room reveal. Plus, I want to share some tips that I personally did that really helped me come up with this overall look. I thought it would be nice to share with you some tips because, of course, um, we may be different from each other. Probably, the overall look of nursery ko is not something that you would like, but the tips or the steps will definitely help you um, come up with your own personal look. Disclaimer though, I am not an interior designer or anywhere near that. It's still best for you to ask help from interior designers. For me, I did all of these things or steps first and then um, I reached out to an interior designer to help me put them all together. So it really depends on you. Before we officially start this video, I hope you are subscribed on this channel already. If not yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button beside it so I can keep you updated whenever I upload videos. I like to use a tablet to access ideas from Pinterest or from YouTube videos. Depende kung saan kayo naghanap ng ideas. Ako, personally, sa Pinterest talaga ako, like I have um, a board. That says nursery room. Uh, so nandiyan lahat ng pegs ko. Or on YouTube, I like to watch nursery room tours done or how they organize their nursery room where I have an idea on how to do it or what I want, what I don't want. Recently, I got this newly released Realme pad and having a pad like this really allows you to have a better experience kapag nanonood ka na Netflix shows, hometown cha-cha-cha, or Squid Game or watching YouTube videos or playing your games or simply browsing on social media because of the 10.4 inches screen plus Dolby Atmos quad speakers. And I can carry it around with me anytime, anywhere because it has a lightweight and ultra slim design. So kahit na in the middle of the night, bigla ko may naisip na idea or may gusto kong panoorin or I'm in the car, I wanna watch something, I can easily grab on my Realme pad because it's very handy and I can be entertained anytime, anywhere. Speaking of entertainment, this Realme pad is made or created to entertain. Again, Netflix, YouTube, social media, Pinterest, games, kung ano mang hanap mo, this will definitely give you the entertainment that you want. And on top of that, the Realme Pad supports eye protection features. That means it will allow you to protect your eyes while you're watching or while you're studying. Yes, you can also use this for school. So kung naghanap ka ng tablet, I would recommend the Realme Pad. It's newly released. It's the first pad of Realme, I would link this on the description box. And guys, for someone like me, hindi ko naman i-deny na tinitignan ko rin ang itsura ng product because may specs, meron ding look, diba? And with this Realme pad, the gold seamless and metal design really suits my personality. Speaking of personality, that is really one of the big things that would really help you decide on the overall look of your nursery room or your own room. So, without further ado, here are the tips or steps that I personally did, again, from personal experience lang to, that helped me come up with my nursery room design. First step is to choose a theme. It sounds simple, but this will really impact the whole um, look of the room. How do you actually decide on a theme? So I think what I can suggest is consider your interests. Are you into pets? Are you into animals? Are you into photography, traveling? Anything like that. And then, what inspires you? Um, nature ba? Outdoor ba? If you're designing for a room for adults, I think you kind of have to look for something long-term, something that you will still love five years from now. Parang ganun. But since I am um, designing or creating a nursery room, then I think it's more safe to be playful because nursery room naman siya. Personally, I love rainbows, unicorns, pastels, which hindi ko naman magagawa sa room ko kasi syempre, I have my husband with me. And I also love traveling and animals. These things you have to think about para you can find a perfect theme for the room. It can be a safari theme or um, around the world theme if you, like, if you like traveling or princess theme if you like those princessy room. So, iba iba talaga. So, it really depends. So, if you are able to distinguish your interests, then it will be quite easy for you to find the theme. Second is choose a color palette. <laughs> so, very easy lang, but then again, having a color palette will really help your room look more put together. Ako, I usually pick one maximum of three 
colors and then I mix it with neutral colors. It really depends talaga. If you like colorful, then no problem. But still have a color palette kasi may iba't ibang tones din yan eh. So ako naman, I want to go for something pastel, something light. So isa rin yun na i-consider mo sa color palette. Third is create a focal point. Basically, it's like the highlight of the room. It can be an accent wall or a wall where you put up your favorite um, art that you bought or your painting na ginawa mo, dun mo siya ilalagay. So that's your focal point. Personally, sa nursery room, our focal point ginawa ko is wallpaper, which I will be talking more about later on. I actually wanted like two walls to have wallpapers, but it's just that yung flooring kasi ng room ni baby is medyo dark, so I have to balance it out. So I've decided to leave more walls na clean and white to balance the dark um, flooring. Fourth is you consider, of course, the size of your room and your furnitures. After deciding on the overall look, I listed down um, the furnitures that I'll be needing for the nursery room, the big furnitures. You have to consider the furnitures that will fit in your theme somehow. Because what if you're going for that super nature boho look, then usually ginagamit na furnitures doon yung mga ratan, ganon. So something that would still fit in your theme or something that will complement your theme. It's very important to have a list of your big furnitures in the room so that you can envision kung which goes where para hindi yung pagdating na lahat ng furnitures, hindi mo alam kung saan siya ilalagay. <laughs> Once you have the list and somehow envisioned what goes to where, then there's lesser possibility of you buying something that won't fit the room or won't fit your theme. And lastly, give it a personality. Like what I said kanina, um, personality is a big thing when it comes to um, designing a room. Of course, for my nursery room, I will be deciding for our little girl kasi nasa loob pa siya. But if you have kids um, that can already decide for him or herself, they already have their own interests, meron silang mga hilig nila, and then allow them and give them the opportunity to give inputs because it's their room. What's your personality nga ba? Like, how do you actually know or how do you actually answer what's your personality? Um, I think ha, personally, um, it's very similar to choosing a theme, yung knowing your interests. I think um, what you can ask yourself is parang something are you a homebody or do you like to go out? Do you like the beach or the mountains? Si mga ganon. Um, are you a minimalist or are you a hoarder? Or are you the girly type or are you a neutral type? So it really depends. And when you get to answer those questions, then eventually you will be able to answer what personality you want to put in the room. So those are the tips and steps that I personally did that really helped me come up with our nursery room. Again guys, I am not a professional so please, 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 kung, kung mali mali yung pinagsasabi ko or you don't agree with it, then I'm sorry but I hope um, the tips and steps that I was able to share would really help you come up with your own design. So without further ado, let me show you our nursery room. Yay! <laughs> So I have the nursery room look here on my Realme pad para mas ma-describe ko siya sa inyo. So when it comes to theme, I chose the boho chick rainbow theme. Um, gawa-gawa ko lang yon. The reason why it's boho chick rainbow, it's because I like boho kasi parang neutral siya. I like chick kasi medyo girly pa din ako. And of course, I'm having a baby girl. And then rainbow, I just can't let go of rainbow. So I came up with the term boho chick rainbow. <laughs> For color palette, this is my color palette. And the focal point, I chose a wallpaper. I am so happy with the wallpaper, guys. It's a nursery room and I'm gonna talk more about the wallpaper later on. And then as you can see, I've laid out all the big furnitures kasi I really considered the size of the room plus the sizes of the furniture. So lahat ng mga furniture dyan, hinanap ko na online. And then yan talaga yung actual size niya in the actual size of the room. Lastly, we added a bit of personality. What do I mean? So nilagay ko yung name dyan. Well, Angel muna para hindi niyo muna malaman yung name. And then um, nilagyan ko ng trees because I like outdoors. And then canopy for a bit of girly girly. And of course, nandiyan yung rainbow. And lastly, lalagyan ko din ng frames and Bible verses dun sa frames. So that's like the personality that I'm trying to put in the room. 
I'm gonna give you a virtual room tour of baby. So let's start on the right side. So pagpasok mo on the right, you will see a day bed. I've decided to put a day bed there para pag may visitor si baby, dyan na sila uupo. And if kailangan matulog ng yaya with the baby, then this is her bed also. As you can see, I left the whole wall clean because I'm going to put up frames there. Hindi yan yung prints ng frames. Yung prints niya will be Bible verses. And then next, you can see the canopy. That will be like kind of her play area. Although matagal pa bago siya mag-play. <laughs> Pero yan yung parang girly side ng um, room niya. Diyan ko ilalagay yung mga stuffed toys. And then next is you will see the crib. So her crib will be oval and white then. Very similar to this one on the photo. And you can see the wallpaper. I want to talk to you guys about the wallpaper. Bakit ito yung design. The reason why I chose this design because I love going out. Like I love nature. Kaya my trees dyan. I love um, being under the sun. So there's sun there. And of course, there's rainbows. I also love animals. It's just that sobrang punong-puno na siya kapag naglagay pa ako ng animals. So I've decided na yung animals, stock toys na lang. Para medyo balance. <laughs> and also, the supplier of my wallpaper is the Printery. I chose them amongst all of the other wallpaper suppliers kasi number one, they are eco-friendly. They have a green guard certificate. Meaning, yung prints ng wallpaper nila is safe for your baby. Baby, which is really important because it's in nursery room. Siya. Also, their designs are customizable. Um, you can send out your designs to them or you can ask for help for designs from them. And free installation na din siya. Plus, it's locally made. And with the wallpaper, as you can see, there's a name there, Angel. Hindi yan yung name ni Baby. That's my name. Um, I'm not gonna reveal her name yet kasi we haven't decided on her final, final name yet. But ipapalagay ko dyan yung um, wood na cut out. Hindi siya sticker and hindi din siya wallpaper. And then we move on. There's like a lamp there and a rocking chair. So dyan ako mag-breastfeed. And then... Yung blank wall dyan, maglalagay tayo ng shelves for deckers. The next furniture is like a shelf rack. This will be filled with baskets. So dyan ko ilalagay yung ibang toys ni Baby. And then dyan ko na ipapatong yung mga bottles si Baby na pwede nang gamitin. And also probably yan na yung side table ng rocking chair ko. And then the last furniture that you can see on the side is the changing table. So it has like three doors on top. And then um, four drawers next na malalaki. And then on top, there's like a changing table. And then after that is the bathroom. So nilagay ko yung changing table near the bathroom para mas mabilis paghugasan si baby. Parang ganun. <laughs> And lastly, you can see there's a carpet in the middle because I mentioned kanina that um, the nursery room flooring is quite dark. So I have decided to put a big carpet in the middle kasi hindi ko mapapalit yung floor. Medyo pricey siya. So carpet na lang. And eventually naman, we'll have to change it to yung parang cushion kapag nag-crawl na si baby. So okay lang yung carpet kasi eventually papatungan naman siya nung cushion thing. Nakalimutan ko yung tawag. But yeah, so those are the main big furnitures that I have in the room laid out to make sure that I have the big furnitures, where to put them, and kasha yung size. And you can also see kung bagay siya overall sa theme mo. So that's the nursery room look. If you guys are interested or if you want to see how the room would progress in real life, in real life talaga, watch out for my upcoming vlogs. I will be bringing you guys with me as I fix the nursery room. And if you're looking for a tablet for entertainment or education, I would really recommend the Realme pad. I would link this down below. Thank you so much again for watching this vlog. I hope to see you on my next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what you think of the nursery room. And I hope to see you on my next vlog. Bye guys! Keep safe!